Welcome back to another episode of Few Things. I'm here with Rebecca Nordine, our violence prevention integrator, and she has a couple of great events to tell us about, starting with Kevin Hines. Yes, Kevin Hines will be here on March 5th. He'll be talking at the Base Theater at 9 o'clock in the morning and again at 1300 in the afternoon. Kevin Hines is telling his story of hope and survival that he has spread throughout the world since attempting to take his life back in September of 2000. When he jumped off the Golden Gate Bridge, he was one of 34 people to actually survive. And today he has added hope to more than a million people with his story. Very good um, presentation, very much worth the time. And suicide prevention, what he has to tell as far as survival is so important. Definitely. Um, another great event coming up is our storyteller event. We had one back in September. This one's going to be slightly different, right? This one is a little bit different. The one back in September was focused on suicide and stories from people directly related to suicide. This one is related to resiliency. In addition to that, we have leadership and resiliency because often we look at leadership and think that nothing is going on in their lives, that they have had it easy. We have the Vice Wing Commander, Colonel Young, and Chief Master Sergeant Watson, who is the superintendent from the 90th Security Forces Missile Squadron, uh, that will be talking about their, their stories and how they've made it through and giving people hope. I think it's very worth people's time to attend this one just to hear how they survived and have made it to where they are today. Yes, I think both events will be extremely valuable. That one's on March 26th, right? March 26th, March 26th. at 1400 in the Trails and Ballroom. And if you forget these dates and times, the Air Force Connect app has all of these events on there. You download it, get all the information you need, along with two more events coming up. So March 2nd is our next Facebook Live, and March 6th is the next Coffee with Commander for Civilians. There's also another thing I want to remind you about is the Med Group Modernization Project. They'll be going on the next few years. They'll have limited appointments. You can find information below. Hello, hello, hello. Kaz here with Becky Burke, who's our Key Spouse Coordinator, and she's here to tell us an awesome opportunity for new spouses to feel like they are part of the Few family from the first day. Becky, what you got for us? I got a HeartLink program. If you are a new spouse to the base, not just a new spouse, but to the base, I've got the HeartLink program. This month, it's March 19th. Um, if you are a new spouse to the base, please come over. Um, this is a great opportunity for you to get integrated into the F.E. Warren community, uh, meet new friends, you know, get infiltrated in all of this great, great stuff. And I have free childcare and lunch for you. What better way to get up to speed on stuff? So how awesome is that? So a day out, free lunch, free childcare. So, but for those folks who've been here for a while or if you're new and you're gonna live on base and you wanna call Effie Warren home, there's a great opportunity on the 4th of March to join the Residence Council over at the BBC Community Center. Hope to see you there, more details below. But also if you wanna make a change for the outdoor adventures for the Force Support Squadron, there's a link below for a survey. So if you wanna have cool things here and have a say about what they offer, Take the survey. Last but not least, they have two things over at the Trails Inn. It's First Friday, folks, so if you're a club member, you get free food. Also, they're gonna have theme bingo there. If you want more details, check out our app. We'll have it on the events, but also there's more information below. See you next time.